Oh, I, I love paint. <laughs> I say a lot, but I do love paint. And there are techniques that um, you know, doing gradiated tints and gradiated stuff when you do it in either acrylics or watercolour oils, whatever you're doing. Well, could you do it in sand easily if you get different coloured sand and uh, change it around? That would be good to do. Very interesting. Um, it, it just it makes it makes a lovely effect. Not sure I'm going to do it with this one, but um, I was just thinking about it when I was putting the brush into the into the pot. My intention was to do the whole thing one colour. But as I've gone down and now I can see the white at the bottom, it kind of feels like I want to do a bit of a, a bit of a tint in there, a bit of a gradation somehow. But I think what I'll do is I'll cover the whole thing. No, just to have a little bit of the bottom. Yeah, just a little bit. Let's get all this stuff out of this blue. Yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna pop that. I'm gonna pop all that spare paint onto a, a trowel because I don't want to put all that in there. Which I might want to use that later on. Get that on there. It's always quite good if you have a mug handy or something with these trowels because they're always the right height. Is you can put the mug like that, the trowel like that, so it it doesn't run off, it doesn't fall over. And how am I going to use? Oh, I know I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to do I'm going to do orange the bottom. So we'll have some orange down here. Or perhaps well, I've done that. Perhaps I'll just have perhaps I won't. Perhaps I'll have that white in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Amazing isn't it when you put a piece of it is when you, you have an intention and then you, you put something on and then it changes it. You go, oh I quite fancy that. So I will I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to put some white in the middle. Uh, plenty of ways of putting white on. Plenty of ways. You can brush it on, stroke it on, use your fingers if you wish. I never do. Well, say I never do, but very rarely do I use fingers. People could get some really good effect with fingers, but I've always found it... It's very direct, but I like to have something between me and the... Me me and support okay so how am I going to do this I'm going to put a little bit on there and then I'm going to do I'm going to do this I'm going to go bring that back into there so there's a little loop of the two do that. Yeah. And I want to do get all that white off there, off that, and put it into here. See, they've got an awful lot on the baseboard as well, so we use that up. Put that down there. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and I want to paint this. I want a hard edge there, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to fiddle a bit. Not normally what I like to do, but I just wanted a hard edge. Don't mind if it's wavy, but I wanted a hard edge. Like that. It's better. And I'll leave that blue there, there because it just adds something to it. Can't think what. And if I take the rest of the paint out of off the or out of the the orange bit I've just used and in addition add in some more from the pot there we go lovely all out so that's that and that's gonna do 
That is, what is that going to do? Move the kettle out of the way? Often gets in the way. Kettles do, you know. They're just like that. I'm going to do... I'm going to do... I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to do what? It needs to go straight out, really. Straight out through the top, leave a gap. And bring that so it's got something done with it. And out. Yep. 